Hey, it's Wednesday. It's eight o'clock. That means it's time for this week at Gear Report, where we talk about everything that's been published since the show last Wednesday and things that are upcoming to be published on gearreport.com. So uh, we have a very esteemed panel with us today. We're going to go around the room real quick. We're going to go clockwise on my screen. That means we're going to go here first. Oh, there we go. So a uh, quick introduction, say hi de ho and we'll we'll move along. Hi de ho and we'll move along. Yeah. I'm Chris, I'm <laughs> one of the camping guys. Follows directions so well. Toby with Mine Ridge Armory and one of the firearms reviewers for Gear Report. And Milo's joining us tonight oh. because I don't know why, but you know, he's better looking than me, so all, all right. right. Jeremy, go. Jeremy and Kim from Down South Off Road and Outdoor. You've seen our reviews. We're just happy to be here. And we're happy to have you here. I got to point out something that's happened already. We have we have a blatant lie already has shown up in the uh, in the comments. So um, you know, this is how this works. This is a live interactive show, right? So we're going to sit here and talk. But who wants to hear that, right? So if you want to spice things up, you want to make this show actually worth watching, say hello in the comments, ask some questions, comment on things, but don't be like the gun snob. This Oki flat out lied. I'm telling you, John Rammel said evening folks way before the gun snob showed up and claimed first. I'm just saying. So we appreciate you there, Snob. I think we lost him. There were four people who had tuned in in that first like 52 seconds, and now it's down to three. I think Snob said, screw you guys. I'm out of here. So it, it was good to have him here while he left. The hammock guys win the, the firsts. Yeah, that's right. I know. Give it, for, it, give it up for the hammockers. It was pretty bold to try to claim that when clearly Rammel was here first. But, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to moderate. All right. So we got uh, G G23 at first thumbs up. I think that may have been true. Hey, that's something I always forget to say. So if you're here watching in the live stream, if you give us a thumbs up, if you leave a comment, any of that activity helps raise us up in the YouTube algorithm. So more people see the show, more people can participate. And there is a better chance that it won't be just me yapping and the show will be worth a damn. So please give that thumbs up. Or if you don't like it, if you think I smell funny or sound weird or whatever, give it a thumbs down. I really don't care. Any kind of interactivity helps feed the YouTube algorithm. So do whatever makes you happy. All right. Uh, let's see. We got G23. We got Mining Ridge Armory. We, we talked about the gun snob. He does what he wants. Okay. Fair enough. I can respect that actually. Uh, Buck Stanley's here. Good to see you, Buck, the gun-loving grandpa. Uh, I'm just here for the cookies. Uh, Pickle, did you bring the cookies? Oh, damn it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hang on, ghost. We may have cookies. I don't know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Who else is down here? Man, the comments are jumping. That is awesome. Nighthog is here. Evening to you as well. Uh, Clover Tech, the tactical leprechaun, commenting on the algorithm. <laughs> they are super important. All right. Man, things are moving, which is good because um, what in the world? I don't even want to know what's going on with the middle finger button. But, you know, more comments means more influence on the algorithms. So, and that's what we're after, right? So, MeWe has a middle finger button. Does it really? Mm -hmm. huh. Yep. The first thumbs up, thumbs down was on one of the gear report posts that Jeff made, and it was a middle finger button. It was my first MeWe post or MeWe and reaction. I it. Mm. Man. I had a prime opportunity to have some good interaction there and I missed it. Oh, look at that. Mystic is here as well. All right. This is going to be a fun show. Uh, people are filtering in quicker than they do some weeks. So we appreciate that. We appreciate you being here. I am loading pages in the background so we can dive in and start talking about some of the things that have been published. I want to get through these quickly because I know we have some pretty cool, 
uh, other things to talk about. Uh, Karami just got back from a big trip that I want to hear about. Uh, so we're going to blast through these already published things quickly. Don't get me wrong. You can still ask questions. We're, we're going to work through them as quickly as we can, though. And then we're going to talk about some of that stuff as well as upcoming. Uh, Jason, the Rogue Banshee, is not here at the moment to talk about the gun grips. Uh, we've had a few of these. Uh, I got a set uh, a couple months ago and uh, got them through the Amazon review program and reached out to the company and said, hey, you know, instead of you paying Amazon to send these out, why don't we just set up some direct to our writers? So uh, Banshee got a set for, um, what did he put them on? He put them on a, like a Taurus or a Beretta or something, didn't he? What is that? Yeah, Breda 92, that's what it was. Um, some G10 grips. You can see a pretty cool texture on that grip. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty cool grips. I highly recommend that you have, if you have an interest in putting some of the hard grips, they're not rubberized, but they've got, they've got aggressive texture that doesn't really hurt your hands, but, but does help with grip. They got a bunch of different uh, types for a, a wide variety of gun models. Uh, if you're interested in those at all, go to the gear report site, search G U U U N gun grips, and you'll see three or four different uh, articles. there reviewing different grips on different guns. Um, and be sure while you're there to click on this one and then go watch uh, the Rogue Banshee review video because he does good work. All right. Yo, Mitch has joined us. Greetings, Mitch. Oh, look at that. TJ is still working. Sorry to hear that. Wow, we got another new one. I Okay, who can pronounce this one for me? Hello. Hello. Ilara. It's Ilara. Ilara. All right. Welcome. That's um, Mrs. Trailheads. That's the oh, other half oh, of uh, Trailheads hammocks. Miss Karen. I see. The uh, the straight sewing seamstress yes. behind uh, John's running his mouth. Gotcha. All right. I I sense nothing but respect from when you say that. So that's that's pretty good. All right. Excellent. Welcome. And uh, wanted to be sure I slowed down. Make sure we pronounce that right. All right. Uh, let's go to another one. We're going to blast through these quickly. Um, Toby, why don't you talk about the one that just published? Geez, what was that? A couple hours ago? The Swamp Fox? Liberté. The Swamp Fox Liberté. Yep. So I think, you know, and uh, you know, Ghost, you and Clover can keep me honest on this one. I think I can show this on the internet because it's not a firearm. It's a, a slide, an empty slide, but no no parts. So, oh, so I need to come back to you. Hold on. Let me change the screen. All right. We got to get rid of. Well, no, you can do the article. That's all right. It's the article. We'll do both of them. Um, but since you're, you're showing. Since show and tell. Boom, okay. Look at that. You took over. All right. So the Swamp Fox Liberty was they've got a series, you know, they, um, I think, I think Snob did a review of the Kingslayer. Uh, uh, he, he can keep me honest on that one. Uh, and so Swamp Fox has come out of the, the gates for a couple of years. They've not been around for a really long time and they're trying to compete in the, the different type of optics markets, including the low, low powered variable optics, uh, red dots, uh, prism, prism optics, you know, scopes, that kind of thing. Uh, and <clears throat> I guess one of their claim to fame is they're at a good medium price point. You know, they're not at a super low as, uh, and they're not super high like some of your higher end like Trigicon. Um, but the Liberty in particular, they have the Liberty and the Justice. And those two optics are one of them is about a 22 millimeter width on the screen in the red dot. The other one is about a 27, a 27 millimeter. So it just kind of widens out and flares out a little more at the top up here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And the difference is one's, one's obviously primarily for concealed carry and one's for um once we're just, you know, sidearm, you know, actually carrying open or rifles or pistols or that kind of thing. So uh, long story longer, you know, I purchased, I actually purchased this from Swamp Fox and did a review on it. I've been concealed carrying this uh, using this exact optic with the Ironsides uh, outer shield and outer shroud since about July. And I just published up the article and the review video for it today. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, Ed, I don't want to give away a bunch of the review. So, I mean, you might want to pop back over to the article now, drop out of me and go back to the article. I don't want to give away too much of the review because then people won't watch the video or, or read the review. Um, it's like a two minute read. If that, that gives you the gist of what's in the video, but then the videos actually got a lot of good information on it. I will say that, that it's, it's held up to my scrutiny so far. You know, I gave it a four gears rating. Um, so far, so far, so good. Um, I do have one major con with it. Uh, that I'll, I'll have to kind of circle back with everybody a month or two from now and let you know how that con worked out. Uh, but overall, you know, like you can see in that one video there or that one picture there, I'm dropping it. You know, I'm, I'm on camera throwing that thing and stomping it under my foot. And, you know, I kind of give it a pretty good little run um, just in the review video. So Nice. Yeah, it's worth watching it just for <clears> now. <throat> All right. There's a video at the bottom. So if you go find this uh, article, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see – the review video with the fancy MRA there, the Mining Ridge Armory logo. Yeah, you could uh, also just click on me here and go to my channel and like like and subscribe subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome because I could really, really use some subscribers. So yeah. And then when you channel. subscribe to him, be sure to ring the bell. And if you do, Toby is going to send you a recording of him singing, You Can Ring My Bell. Uh, that you can put on your, um, you know, answering machine, voicemail message, whatever. Done. It's my ringtone. Yeah. You can ring my bell. Yeah. No, but Toby's going to sing it. It'll be better than me singing it. So, all right. Oh, look at that. That's the assault slide, he says. Yeah, they're coming for it starting next spring in March. So probably shouldn't show that on the camera. Now they're going to know to come after me for my assault slide. Mm. Man, that's they won't, they won't come after me. They'll just charge me a $200 tax stamp and get me to register that optic as an assault slide. So it'll be fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll get it serialized and registered for $200 tax stamp. I'll be good. Yeah. Good luck with that. Not you, them. All right. Is there an audio book on the review? Interesting. Yeah. It's, you do it's, have kind of an audio book sounding voice. You know, when people do audio books that one person reads it and they will read in the voice of whoever's talking. So you have to be able to do like four or five different character voices to do that. I think you can pull it off. I can definitely do Jeff, right? And all I can do is wear like a, a wrinkled up shirt and not shave for a couple of days, you know, right? I don't know what happened. We're having technical difficulties with Toby here. It's Bye, Toby. amazing how that happens. <laughs> amazing. And he's in the penalty box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You know what? We'll put him back. We'll put him back in the bullpen if I can find him. Where is he? There he is. Oh, look at that. Yep, he's back. I, I couldn't really banish him, but, uh, you know, he was kind of semi-temporarily banished. Okay. And my shirt, my shirt is a little bit wrinkly because the uh, – the the custom design that I made. This was a picture of the battle wagon that I converted into a, a not a screen print, but the the heat transfer vinyl, and it kind of wrinkled on me a little bit. So, Jeff, if your shirt was ironed and smooth, I'd be more concerned than if it was wrinkled. Right. Wow. By Felicia. Did you see the amount of protests that happened when I threw you out, Toby? Man. I don't think that's protest. I think they're I think they're overjoyed. I don't think that's protest. I think that was a that was a cry of joy. That's what that is. They're like, God, thank God that guy's gone. Jesus. <laughs> you, you know, the great thing is for radio. <laughs> Once someone leaves a comment, I can go back and bring it back out of context whenever I want. So the rest of the show, anytime someone says something sarcastic, I'm gonna go find this comment from TJ. It says true dat, and I'm gonna bring it back up as if he just said it. All right. Yep. All right. Empire did nothing wrong. All right. We're not even going to debate that here. We are going to dive right back in. And uh, let's see, which one are we going to go to next? Let's go to not the tactical pickle, because I don't think I've even seen Calaveras out there. We're going to go to the camping pickle to talk about some outdoor gift ideas. Oh yeah, my uh, my annual gift uh, gift guide for the gearhead in your life. So these are um, things that I've 
either picked up this year or have picked up in the past or just uh, am kind of dropping hints to my wife that I'd like. So let's see. Uh, it's it's all fairly inexpensive. I think about the most expensive thing on top on on the list is probably the Blackstone tabletop griddle, mm. which uh, Karami did a review on. I believe I, I've heard that in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just took a 36 inch out to the woods uh, last weekend for our big camp out, and yeah. it really kind of saved the day. But uh, socks, a uh, quick deployable camp stool, a 10,000 milliamp battery. That's about the, that's the cover picture. That's literally about the size of a Zippo. Wow. Um, yeah, that's a 10,000 milliamp battery pack that is the same size as a Zippo. So, um, a headlamp that I've had for a while ended up, uh, losing it in the woods and went out and literally bought the exact same headlamp again of all the access that I have to all the applications that I have and all the toys and all the gadgets. This is my headlamp of choice. Yeah. I don't so. have one of those, but, uh, let me bring that up here because this is the one that, uh, if I'm going to head out on a big backpacking trip, I'm going to buy one of these because everything I've heard is this is like the ideal little backpacking headlamp. Yep. You got 360 lumens. When you turn it on, it starts off at 10 lumens. You're not blinding everybody at the campsite. It zooms up to 360. You've got not one, but two different red lights. One that's good for just in your hammock by just mm -hmm. you, you know, maybe three so feet. So you can people. let everyone know when you're available. Right. You and don't then have there's to put a, on the red light. Then there's a stronger red light that is, uh, you can actually hike by it. Uh, it is battery rechargeable and it comes out like an ounce, ounce and a half. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot of weight to it. Yep. All right. Awesome. We appreciate that. Hopefully some people will, um, We'll use that gift guide to help uh, let people know what they want. And, uh, you know, for everyone out there, go if, if you click on those links before you buy something, it actually helps the writers. It, it uh, uh, Well, for that article, you're going to be uh, helping Pickle get back out in the woods and do more content. So that'll be good. Uh, please remember to do that. We've also got some links on Gear Report where you can uh, – Go do product searches, for example. Let's see. What do we have here? Hey, a Christmas gift idea. Video is a good idea. Who came up with that one? That is an easy one to write. Yeah, I've seen some. Uh, didn't Ghost just put up a Christmas? Or no, he did best gun deals. I don't know. I've seen some lately, though. I'd be happy to write an article of the top Christmas gift ideas for me. Make it happen. Cap'n. All right. You write it. I will publish it. All right. Just let's leave the let's leave the adult products off. All right. That's a slippery slope. Careful. I know it. I know it. Once 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 you get published, it kind of gets in your blood, and then you start turning into us. Mm. <sighs> I missed something earlier. Look at that free Toby. There was an outcry. Look at that. It was a delayed outcry, and it was. Um, limited in volume both you know how loud it was and the number of cries for help there and you, people started kind of attacking me for it you know you know i have i have a pro i have a problem with toby right now yeah join the I club do. brother I, 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 Most people do most I do. of the time. So take a number. <laughs> I, uh, take a number, get in line. I, 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 I bent to rim monday morning of last week at like eight o'clock and i was what seven minutes from toby's house and sent him a message immediately because i know that you know we work for the same corporation in the real world and i know he's working from home just as i'm working from home and you know some days we're not even working but you know i sent him a message and i get a response like 12 hours later yeah sucks to be you and that was it that's all i got i was like hey dude I have a flat tire. I'm like seven <laughs> minutes from your house out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, man. Sucks yeah. to be you. I hope you got it fixed. God, that sucks. That's, that's Thanks, a horrible Toby. story. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Story, bro. Click. 
<laughs> nice. Nice. Defense Dad, Anytime, Defense Dad showed up to give us his Christmas list. Um, it's going to be tough to shop for you this year, dude. Um, although, I'm going to go ahead and make it. I'm, I'm going to put a plug in here. All right. Because I can do this because Toby doesn't have the power to kick me out. It's funny how that works. Because um, if he did, I'd have been kicked out of this a uh, long time ago, I think. Let's see. Where are we going? Chrome tab, parts for sale. I know it's weird that I have parts for sale, Humvee parts for sale. And we're going to scroll down here. And at some point, we're going to find, oh, where is it? It's above there, isn't it? At some point, we're going to find some ammunition. There we go. So if you need 9 millimeter, if you need 45 ACP, or you need 308, all right, 762 by 51. I've got the ammo for you. All right, send me a message and we'll get you hooked up. Um, this is part of my retirement plan, so just keep that in mind. But, you know, I I don't see Defense Dad getting what he asked for if Santa doesn't get creative and look for alternative places to acquire this. Just saying, all right? So keep it in mind. I, I'm here to help. All right, let's see. Swamp Fox we've done. We did. Uh, TJ is listening. He says, but he's busy working, so he's not here with us. So I guess I'm just going to run through this one real quick then. This is another gun grips, this time for the Sig Sauer, the 938. And I got to tell you, this one surprised me. Because this isn't like a regular, this is a Legion, and uh, it was um, it, it was snagged to put these aftermarket grips on, which I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty bold. Um, but you can see the difference if you if you go into this article, and uh, it is a different texture. It looks like that you get a little bit better grip out of these gun grips, and uh, there was an issue in installation that we've heard a couple people say. I want to say Honcho uh, mentioned something about this a week or two ago, that the screw that holds it in uh, can be a little long and protrude into the mag well and jam up the magazine. So be careful with that. You may have to use, you know, pick which screw you put where and you may have to put a washer uh, under it to, to get it the right height so it doesn't interfere with the mag well. But uh, that was a quick review for this one. So we'll add it to the list if you're interested in the gun grips. That one is another one that we have a review on for your consideration. I'm bougie, legion or nothing. Yeah, we we never doubted your bougie-ness. All right, grouting a shower so I can get paid. All right, you know what? People got to work. I, I like that. You're not sitting back saying... The Rona, someone needs to pay me, take care of me. You know, you're getting out there and working. I respect that. Whatever Jeff charges, I will bet by one dollar. I'm not sure what that means, but if it means a dollar is coming to me, I'm all for it. All right, G, Mr. 23. All right. I so think he means he'll beat we... you by a dollar. Oh. Let's see here. Closing those out. I think we're done with those. We have now covered everything. We're going to move into what's coming. But before we get to that, I'm going to put the hot seat over to Karami, uh to tell us about their big trip because this seemed kind of epic. All right. You want to start? Um, no. I want to start. All right. Well, first of all, it was epic. It was absolutely amazing. She says epic, I say terrifying. <laughs> but, um, so this was our first, the Overlander trips that we've done in the past have been just little um, two-day trips, you know, nothing big. Anybody can go two days without a shower before their butt stinks. Um, so we didn't need to really be careful with what things we packed. You know, we were always just a few hours away from home. So if something went, went awry, we could, you know, get somewhere safely. So this trip was not that way at all. This trip was 410 miles to the Allegheny Mountains. Um, 
for what we thought was going to be a pretty easy trail. So we had just done, a, <laughs> yes, epically terrifying. So we had just done tons of body work. And I don't know if you guys saw, but she has the nice, shiny, gloss off-road fenders. Mm-hmm. Ask about how those look now. <laughs> uh, we had made on Facebook that there were going to be some pinstripes. Well, they are, all of them, pinstripes. Um, very, yeah, she was, was very mall pretty for a, for, a, for a fraction of time. But um, so the great thing was that we added a lot of gear for, for this trip. Um, so roll down this list and tell them what all we added just to take on this trip. And each one of them just worked out so perfectly for what we were doing. Um, well, we took a trasheroo, which is a, a trash can to go on the back oh, of the Jeep. Oh, man, you're uh, legit overlanders if you have a trash yeah, roo. Yeah, I really moved into overlanding. Plus wow. 10 overlanding points. Yep, yep. Um, a ruck rack, which we're going to be reviewing. It was uh, It's a rack that was made um, in North Carolina. Um, super awesome rack, and we can't wait to talk Love about it. it. Um, some saddlebags for our roll bars, which actually big enough to hold all of our clothes so we could uh, eliminate those bags. Um, a Jeep attic uh, to give us some more storage space, um, recovery boards and a recovery kit and a pop-up fire pit. So those are just some of the things that we reviewed. Um, you know, as Jeremy said, the terrain that we were on, we needed to pretty much have everything with us, our water, our food, our drinks. Um, we were able to stop for gas twice um, throughout the weekend. Um, and that was just running through very, very small towns. Most of these towns didn't have service. Um, we had um, no cell service. We had one night, the fog, we literally could not see the vehicle in front of us. I mean, even when we walked to the restroom um, at this, at this, at the top of the peak, of, of, we ended up having to stay in a parking lot, basically, because the fog was so thick that we could not find a decent camping spot for four vehicles. So um, we were at the highest peak in West Virginia. No <laughs> mention of the blow-up doll. No, actually, Donna, uh, Donna stayed home this time. To I save just, space. I just couldn't uh, deal with her. This weekend, I needed to, yeah. So, um, so yeah, the event, the 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 trip was amazing. The trails were amazing. So, let's just put it this way: we added uh, we added transfer case skid plates, oil pan skid plates. They're all crushed. Not crushed. Uh, they're well, not now. not crushed. Okay, we'll, we'll say this: they're all rattling. <laughs> they're, they're all mashed in stuff. and rattling. So that is not normal skid plate behavior. Uh, Let's go with the terrain. There's there's going to be in the once I get the video edited, there is once we were like two days into the trail. And so there's no going back. Uh, there's a creek that you have to cross. And the creek is about, would you say, 50 yards wide? It's a um, creek. It's a river. Well, it's a river. Sorry. There's a river that's that's 50 <laughs> yards river. wide. And typically this river is a, a foot and a half deep. Um, well, typically is not the rainy weather that they've had. So we get to this river. And we're like, holy shit, this thing is three and a half foot deep. So, you know, we've got the new ruck rack on the back holding all our kitchen supplies. And we don't have a snorkel. Uh, One of the guys with us did, of course. uh, So we let him go first. But um, there were some points crossing that river where the water picked the Jeep up and moved us twice. And Kim had started to let off the gas, and I was just in the video going, "No, no, no! Hammer down! Hammer down! Hammer down!" You know, to, and and we made it. And once we got across, it was like one of the coolest things that you know we'd ever done. At that point, you realized how scary it really was. And so, um, some of the footage from this trip is going to be great. We we actually camped on top of a mountain. Um, there you go. There you yeah, go. that's that's the depth <laughs> of uh, that's the depth of the water that almost carried our lives away. Oh, yeah. And yeah, the so, power, the power that water has, I mean, just a few inches uh, can can push a, a regular car away. So. It, yeah, it, uh, I'll admit it definitely wakes you up when you uh, realize you're floating yeah. down the river and the only thing and your wheels yeah. are now rudders. So, so the photography of this trip was probably my favorite part because I don't ever get a chance to, to use my camera anymore. And photography is just something I'm kind of passionate about. Um, I've never been confident enough with it to charge money for it. But um, the pictures of this trip. I was really, really happy with because there was there was a forest. She mentioned that we ended up staying in a parking lot. Well, the parking lot was a national forest uh, parking lot to the highest peak in West Virginia. And actually, right now, I can't think of what it's called. But um, 
So when uh, we Uncle went, Cousin Peak. What's that? Yes. Uncle that, Cousin Peak. That, that is exactly what it is. So when we wake up the next morning, we realize there's a little deer trail beside our, our car. And so we walk down it and it is like this enchanted, magical, elvish forest from Lord of the Rings. I've, it honestly looked like a movie set, you know, like something that, that you would never think to see. It wasn't that one. It was, um, mm. it, it, it would be on our Facebook and it kind of looks like, a, um, you might have to scroll down past all that. It was probably some of the first, but. Oh, this it, one, huh? There, there yeah. you go. I mean, it looked like a movie set. We couldn't have, we couldn't have designed a better fairy tale forest if we wanted to. And so while me and Kim are sitting there taking pictures, this big hair, woodland hair, jumps out of the came darkness and, and came came <laughs> frolicking up to us. We almost had a Snow White moment. <laughs> so there was just so much about this trip that was just that was just beautiful. I mean, it was, uh, and and we lived. We made it through. Uh, we've got to have the Jeep checked out. She's got uh, <laughs> some loose electrical connections that are making instrument lights, bunch of wipers come on right now. Um, oh. We've got the, the skid plate rattles. So uh, so just uh, now we're going to start adding some more things for the next one. We have a bigger trip coming up in May. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. just brand new. Fenders, just brand new, yeah. brand new fenders. So, uh, so, yeah. But but the good thing is all the gear we added was very, very useful, and we're super extremely pleased with. I'm posting the fire pit review tonight. Um, so it should be, I think when we started this, it had like, 20% uploaded. So, um, so it should be on YouTube tonight. Yeah. That fire pit is phenomenal. And that was actually after I washed the front windows. So that, <laughs> yeah, she couldn't see. it was terrible. The front, the, the windows were so bad that I could not see at all. The mirrors, my side mirrors, I couldn't see anything. Um, funny story is actually we hit the next trail we hit. Um, I cleaned those windows and the next trail we hit was it, they, we found this big playground, um, in the, I think it's the George Washington National Forest. And it was basically a mud playground and all the Toyotas, they hit it. I was like, you know what, guys? I'm not doing it. I'm just She's not like, I just clean my literally not can just now see out of my windows. It's just not happening. I'm not playing today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the that Toyotas one. here. They uh Yeah, there they, you go. They continue yeah. oh, just their mud holes. I just sit on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Bella's not playing today. But um and that was a group of Marines and and it was just so awesome to hang with those guys all week, um, sitting around, listening to them because they were all deployed. Some of them were deployed together multiple times. And so sitting around and listening to them talk about what they went through and, you know, some of the happy stories, some of the hilarious stories and some of the sad stories. It just gives you such a, a better appreciation for, for, you know, what some people were willing to do for the country. And, and then just to see them all happy laughing and, and just enjoying each other with something like overlanding was, it was pretty awesome. It was an awesome trip. Looks like it. Yeah. I'm jealous. That, that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm the hoping, I'm hoping I can get my truck working here shortly. we got parts coming in this weekend. Hopefully we can get that put back together this next weekend. Maybe, maybe by May I'll have something I can go on the trip and, like, yeah, like we were we were talking about it. You know, we were kind of angry that when we had Sasha that we never really utilized her capabilities. But at the same time, um, she's pretty wide. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, we were pinstriped on these trails we were on. So I'm not sure the Humvee would just have to make its own way, I guess. Just, you know, yep. it'd be using the trees, their own pinstripes, I guess. And it's not just getting through. The problem is when you have when you happen to meet someone head on on the trail, and then you have to make space because we were up uh, some pretty high elevations. I mean, the, yeah. the highest 5, peak, five thousand. The at night we were still at like we stayed at like forty five hundred feet, something like that. So I mean, um, the trails were not very wide. Yeah. Wow. But we'd be glad to watch you try. Absolutely. No, oh, at that point, it's not my problem. It's the people trying to come the other way. Okay, get creative. You got reversed for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Awesome. Um, it really was can't, great. can't wait to see all the additional content you guys have. Those pictures are um, really, really good. Like Instagram type pictures. Mm. 
Ooh, Instagram type pictures. Don't do that to me. Not that kind. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh is he blushing? Who? No, that, those, were angry. those were angry color changes, Pickle. Oh, okay. It looked oh, like you were blushing there for a minute. Those were calendar worthy pictures, damn it. Not Instagram. <laughs> TJ, come on. What are you billing me by the billing by the minute here? Come on. It was a good story. It was worth listening. All right. Yeah, TJ. Simmer down, TJ. Right come on. Shower. Yep. All right. So let's see. What else what else we have coming up? All right. We are just oh, come on, people. Let it go. We'll keep going till we're done. All right. Till till we have covered what we want to cover, and then we'll stop. All right, that's how this works. All right, so we're still on. We did recently published. We're on reviews that will be published soon, and uh, we addressed a number of them in that story of everything that is going on. What else do we need to talk about? Pickle will start doing diva poses. Pickle has nothing but diva poses. Yep. Hey, it is what it is. <clears throat> adult tiktok i'm not even sure what that means um because i'm old so sorry okay who's got stuff coming up all right while we're waiting for someone else to decide they want to talk about something i need help all right i had something that showed up today this is a little lock box i got a, a two pack of them off of amazon and it's a well-known brand. <laughs> yeah, never heard of it. I don't know. I think this is, uh, you know, textbook Chineseium here. Uh, but it was a little lockbox, a, a two-pack they offered for review. And I said, yeah, why not? What do you think they forgot to include in this? The initial combination. D directions to open it. I have two of them. Not a damn idea at all how to open it. All right, that I don't see a button. Do you try? So anyone has ideas? Yeah, you got to put six 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 in there. I'm just really? saying. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Um, it's set on all zeros for now. I figured. Well, maybe that's a combination. But yeah, I don't know. Is there I think, a button on the side? Yeah, given what's going on in the country lately, you know, maybe I should put nine one one on it. Yeah, they won't turn. I got no idea how to open this sucker did you turn it off and turn it back on again um i unplugged it see uh okay unplugged. yeah but did you plug it back in um no the plug's inside this is very well thought out push pull nothing but maybe that's good oh look at that I was Direct, I directions it. inside. Yeah. Yay. Directions inside. Absolutely. All right. So it's <laughs> like a review in progress here. And so here's the cord cable to lock it up to something. How to set a new combination. <laughs> the very first line of the directions up here says uh, new lock is preset. By initial code opening at zero zero zero. So if you can figure out how to get it open, you can read what the combination is. All right, awesome. Uh, so anyhow, we'll check that out. I I think I think my little Sig uh, P three sixty five will fit in there. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know what I'll use it for. I thought it'd be slightly larger, but <laughs> we figured go. it out live. I was just being a little too dainty with it. Um. Anyone else? Well, we basically to... covered ours. Yeah. yeah, I've got some written articles on the horizon, but nothing, nothing solid, and no timelines just yet. Just on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've had a new tarp committed. Um, I don't know if John's still in here with trailheads, but this winter, I'm going to be testing some new quilts for him. That the down is so light. It's being joked that it's unicorn fur. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice. It is a thousand. It is a thousand fill power down, and the twenty degree quilt set weighs less than 
a 30 degree sleeping bag I reviewed two years ago from Outdoor Vitals. And that's a top quilt and an under quilt down to 20 degrees. That put me in right at two pounds for the set. Yeah. So pretty stoked about that. Uh, there's a new tarp. Uh, design coming out by one of a uh, well-known hammock manufacturers that I'm not able to talk about yet because I don't have it in my hands. Is it Dutch? Shh. He and I did. And I did spend a nice quality evening around a campfire. Uh, post Thanksgiving, post our big sixty, I think. Well, we had about fifty-five people at the hang this year, so. So um, you said you used the 36-inch grill, griddle, yes. right? Is that the one yes. that uh, that Mike, every time he did a live stream from Thanksgiving, yes. it was like him grilling? Food. Yeah. 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 But that's what he was cooking on? That's what he was cooking on. Yeah, that was a beast. We went that through like two good. tanks. We went through, I, I believe, two propane tanks through the weekend it was if it was cooked it was cooked uh four deep fried turkeys uh 10 to 15 pounds of bacon um 50 hamburgers and hot dogs one night uh there was about eight gallons of chili one night uh were you all social distancing and wearing your masks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a it was a very um Do I have to call You're all outside. We're all outside in a federal park. So if you uh, see something, say something, I'm gonna have to call the game wardens. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and call the game wardens. They ate so much of our food that weekend they didn't care either. So it was a good trip. And then I um, got to follow Dutch. And now, see, I've taken some slow trips across the state of North Carolina. There was the uh, the 55 mile an hour jaunt and the uh, first battle wagon with Jeff from Burlington to Wilmington and back. But I I'll admit, following Dutch from, from Durham to Stone Mountain in his 1973 Volkswagen camper bus was the slowest trip I've ever made the entire, in my 42 years through North Carolina. I bet it took us four hours just to drive from Durham to Stone Mountain. Huh. And it, it was like two and a half on my GPS. Huh. So it was glorious. What's up, Dennis? Thanks for joining us, man. All right. So, how many, you said about 50 people? Yeah, we had about 50 people. It was a good well, turnout. What would you sure. say the range of different hammocks was? Um, so I, I'm sure there was some duplication, but what, you know, 20, yeah. 30 different types of hammocks? Yeah, easily. Um, you couldn't, I don't think two rigs were done completely the same. Right. There were no two rigs that were set up completely the same. So I had, my, I had the big tensel out uh multiple hammocks there were some there were a couple amox out there gathered in bridges a flying spaceship all sorts of different levels of hammocks nice all right that's a good event i gotta make it to that at some point um I got to make it to everything while people will still allow me to be there. At some point, they're all going to wise up and be like, you know what? We don't have to tell him where it is. Or when he says, hey, can I come? We can say no. And so I need to get to some of these things before they figured that out. Um, Especially when the invite means I'm literally driving within two minutes of your house. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that would make it kind of convenient, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Mary and I were close on the same rig, so yeah, yeah. you gotta expect that there'd be a little bit of a little bit of overlap there. There were some holdovers, but yeah. Good to see you. You know what? It's good to see you too. All right, welcome to everyone who was kind enough to join us. All right, so are uh, are you gonna have any specific content to follow up from that event or? 
Uh, and you're, um, you're gonna publish, or you know, to be to be honest with you, I don't enjoy that hang. Um, I spend so much time in the prep work, in getting everybody signed in, making sure everybody else is having a good time. You know, just making sure people have the gear that they need. They're able to find the trees that they need. That I'm just, it's I'm working all weekend. I'm literally nonstop making sure everybody else is having a good time, and I like to forget that weekend. So, gotcha. All right. Well, let me ask you about it some more then. Sure, please, please. Um, I'd be more. So, than happy what, to give... what are you doing tomorrow? I see a note here. Yeah, tomorrow night um, from, I don't know, 7 to 8, 7 to 9, 7 to 10. Uh, we're doing the Hanging with Pickle and Mike uh, Thanksgiving Leftovers show. And it starts at 7 o'clock like normal. And if five people show up and everybody's bored by 8 o'clock because of the turkey and the tryptophan, we're going to call it a night. Um, if it gets a little wild and crazy, we're going to uh, run it until... I guess I pass out and start drooling on myself on the camera. Uh, there's no agenda. There's no guests. It's really just you spend time with your family all day, and you may want to – maybe some people didn't get a chance to spend time with their family or their families in the hammock community. So we're going to cut loose and uh, consume some beverages and just – run our mouths for however long Mike and I feel like running our mouths. So we may have some surprise guests. So we may not have some surprise guests, but I promise you shenanigans will ensue. Yes, John, 8.30. It's usually about the time it grinds to a halt and I start yawning and ready for bed. Oh, look at the time. All right. So while you were doing that, I pulled something else out here. This can we see this? You see the little blinking? Ah, oh, the studio lights are on it. It's a bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a is 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 that a, a DeLorean time clock? Is yeah. A clock this is the time date. clock. This One point twenty one. This is the time that I'm going to. Yeah. Don't ever set that so damn thing for this is uh, this is something I got for the for the Battle Wagon Three. It's a little solar panel on top, and then this is a tire pressure monitor system. And you notice it's got your four like normal, and then it has on the outside. So that's going to be four tires, uh, and then here are the the little pressure monitors that screw onto the Schrader valve where you fill the tires. Boom. Two more for the trailer. Chickity, check that out. I'm kind of <laughs> stoked about this. So um, I got to be careful. I'm going to wreck myself here. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyhow, that, that will be a review that is coming. I was going to say coming soon. I don't have a freaking truck right now. So <laughs> the review will happen when I get my truck back. Uh, but again, I am very excited. Anyone who stopped in to hear a, uh, oh, look at that. I'll join just to talk crap. It's funny you say that, G23. That's why I joined this one. <laughs> just to talk crap the whole time. And dad jokes, that's my specialty. So um, anyhow, uh, like I said, hopefully the um, Battle Wagon 3 will get put back together next week with parts arriving over the weekend and available to be, to be put in. I, um, I am not, I, I haven't been promised a delivery date, but once the parts are here, I can start leaning a little harder and saying, come on, knock it out, knock it out. So I have been my mechanic. I have put, geez, I probably put, seven or eight thousand dollars in his hands in the last couple weeks selling parts for him uh so you know i'm making him money to free him up so he can make time to put on my uh put in to get my truck running again so 
hopefully that's one of those things that works out well for both of us that uh, when people call and say, hey, do you have this? If I don't have it, I go to my mechanic and say, hey, do you have these parts? And then I sell them on his behalf and make him some money. And since he's making money, maybe he'll put my truck at the top of the list. So that's my idea. Another thing that I'm going to uh, put a review out on pretty soon. Something. Can you see what this is here? All right. We'll start at this end. Paracord's this, link. This is something that Kenosha Kyle got me thinking about, right? Um, as he was being attacked, trying to flee after, you know, he was attacked and had to shoot the dude up there. Um, and he's running to try to get away and get to where the police were. Uh, it got attacked and knocked down that sling that he had on his rifle, I think probably saved his life because it kept the rifle there in his hands and it didn't get away from him. So I have been picking up a few extra slings, uh, cause some of my rifles didn't have any, uh, slings on them. So, um, white and nerdy. All right. I missed that one. Um, whoa. I think I missed that one too, but I'm intrigued. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do some research, see if I can figure out what that one meant. Um, anyhow. Card, I'll send it to you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Any more updates that I can give on the battle wagon? No, I think that's pretty much it. I did pick up some parts. If you go check out the daily updates page, I, I picked some stuff up. Uh, I drove, I was in the car for like a little over 10 hours yesterday. Uh, I got up early, drove down to South Carolina to deliver a bunch of parts. And let me tell you, people make fun of my Prius. They do, but it's like a little mini cargo delivery van that got 43 miles per gallon on that whole trip. It was amazing. 10 hours in the car, me, me. I spent less than $50 and was able to deliver... Um, crazy stuff you know i delivered a bunch of heavy duty bulletproof glass and chicken shields and machine gun mounts and i mean you'd think it was going to war but uh um but anyhow the guy it was going to prius yeah, delivered in the prius so i was like every time i saw one of north carolina or south carolina's finest i was like oh pull me over this is going to be interesting uh and none of them did so it's amazing because that little car will boogie, but, uh, but I follow all the traffic laws. So that's probably why they didn't. All right. So uh, let's see. I think that is about all I want to talk about for things I have upcoming. I got so much stuff I could do. FX Prius. Okay, good. I run a version of that sling on my 336. Interesting. Yeah. Rocking the old lever gun. That's good. Unless that was code for something else that, that I didn't get. But yeah, I, I'm not into all that sexual deviant stuff. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Um, all right. Anything else we need to talk about? Fun stuff happening in the world? No. You guys are boring. Come on. Um, no. I need shirt ideas. This is the second week I'm wearing a new custom creation shirt. So if anyone has ideas, thoughts, you want something made, uh, let me know. Why not? It's uh, we, we can do some funny, interesting stuff and put it out there and uh, see what we can do with that. All right. I think you can do a, you can do a pickle hanging shirt. A pickle I was thinking. Shirt. I was thinking Trail Diva. Since I have been nicknamed the my, I have a new trail name of the Trail Diva because of my high maintenance, hair flipping, high quality lifestyle. That was a really interesting <laughs> description. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, how do I even respond to that? But you know what? You know what I love about you, Pickle? God, there's so many things. This could be a long show. That's what they all say. Um, but but here, here's the one I'm going to point out right now. You own it. 
you know, you know how many fake ass people there are in the world who won't be who they are. That ain't you. You know who you mm. are. Yep. And you go out there and you, own it. <clears throat> and you know what? If people don't like it, that's Fuck their em. problem. <laughs> and you're going to enjoy life. And I love that. I really do. Oh, Jeff, I thought you were going to say humility. I guess I went the other way. No, 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 no. <laughs> humility is not one of my many traits. No, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Mitch. Hate to break it to you. Humility is not one of my many traits. Sorry, not uh, sorry. So before we start, uh, what does Clover say? Sweeping the floor, putting the chairs up, all the the, the bar closing analogies. I got to be honest with you. I don't go to bars. I don't know what they do when they close. Um, I suppose they tell people to go home, but I don't know. Hadn't been there. So they hose down the toilets and mop up the puke. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, now I've experienced that. Okay. Um, oddly, TJ's not here. Usually he's <laughs> around if that, if those are the things that are going on. <laughs> uh, tiki yeah. bar comes to mind, Toby, right? Oh, sure. Uh, hashtag true statement. <laughs> yes. Frankie's tiki bar. Hmm. The place will live in infamy forever. Um, yeah. So anyhow, you you completely derailed me. I have a video of that. You were saying that, that you were going to close up the show by hosting and cleaned up puke, but eh, you know. Okay. So what I'd like to do is we're going to do the normal go around. All right. Which way do we? This way. Yeah, we're going to go around. the Nope. Dang it. Backwards. That way. We're going to go this way around and and do the kind of clockwise on the screen. And what I'd like to I'd like to do the normal. OK, if you have anything you want to promote, anything like that, this is your chance to say your goodbyes and do that. And then if we can be serious for a moment, what are you thankful for? Because it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. All right. I'll kick it off. Check out Gear Report, gear report.com. Um, you're here, so you already know about us. Go check out the website. There's so much good stuff on there. We're going to be posting. Uh, I'm going to try to post some deals. I got to tell you, the site was down this morning for the first time in a couple years. The whole web host crashed. 200 some sites were down, including Gear Report. It's back up. I'm going to spend some time tomorrow morning putting all kind of Black Friday deals up there because that's what I do during family time on Thanksgiving, right? I'm going to do that for you guys to so go check them out and help us out. Get some, uh, get some, oh, now TJ's back. Did somebody say bourbon? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to put some of those up there. So check those out before you go buy and stuff. What am I thankful for? I'm thankful for everyone who's here participating in this. I'm thankful for the crazy people who have squandered 58 minutes of their life listening to this in replay on YouTube. You know, do I understand you? No, I don't, but I appreciate you. All right. I am thankful for every last one of you. How do you find the website? Okay. That's an interesting question. All right. So we're going to share the screen. And come up. Can you see the can you see the address bar up here? Does that show up? Oh, you can't see the address bar. StreamYard has denied me the ability to show you the address bar. So I can't show you that part, but I will show you. We're gonna scroll all the way to the top. When you get there, when you type gear hyphen dash tech, whatever, gear dash report.com. In your web browser, this is what you're going to see. And you can go up to deals and uh, you can go into all outdoor gear deals and coupons. And you'll see as we put new ones up there, I'm going to put some up here tomorrow for Black Friday type deals. And uh, there are a bunch of, that are already up there, kind of long-term deals. I'm going to put some short-term Black Friday stuff up there tomorrow. You can also go... Uh, to our merchant link. Oh, the best price search. You know, I've seen more people are using this lately and it is crazy how useful it is. You put in what you're looking for, hit search. It's going to find the best price for whatever item you're looking for and do all the work for you. So that's something you can use. I'm thankful for people who use this because the few pennies that we get off of uh, purchases that you make after doing this help keep the lights on and, uh, 
Yeah, we appreciate that, you know, because lights are kind of cool at times. All right. <laughs> Google yourself. I'm not sure what that means, Honcho Fat. All right. Let's make our way around. Any, any things you want to promote or talk about? Uh, and then what you're thankful for, should you care to participate in that? So tomorrow night, uh, seven o'clock right here on the gear report, YouTube channel, uh, hanging with pickle and Mike Thanksgiving, uh, special edition for Thanksgiving leftovers. Come on, check it us, check us out, learn about hammocks potentially, maybe not this week. Um, it's also our 19th episode of the show, which is about, 17 episodes longer than I thought it was ever going to get to, but you know, Hey, it, it keeps on keeping on. Um, what am I thankful for? Uh, it's not so much what I'm thankful for, but as you go through your day in day out life, if somebody crosses your mind just randomly, there's a reason for that. Reach out to that person. Even if it's just to say hi, it may be the high point of their day it may put them in a direction that they didn't want to head down and you may have uh, changed their outlook for the better. So I'm thankful that we take care of each other. And even if they're going to ignore you for 12 hours and not come to even your rescue? If, even if they're going to ignore you for 12 hours and not come to your rescue, I know if Toby's in the same room to, with me, he'll smile and flip me off. <laughs> See? So I'm thankful for friends that are real with me. All right. Awesome. All right. Karen. All right. So, so I'm going to start with, with what I'm thankful for, and then I guess it's her turn. It's, it's what? Well, we need to talk about downtown off road and outdoor oh, first. So, so down south <laughs> off road and outdoor. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do a shameless plug. So down south off road and outdoor. Uh, definitely, if you haven't subscribed to us on YouTube, do that. We we. We'd love to have you. We need you. Um, you know, the more subscribers we get, the, the better we'll do. Um, we're pretty fun. Um, we're pretty unfiltered. And as far as what I'm thankful for, it's going to go back to that fun and unfiltered. I'm thankful for this one. I'm thankful for bourbon. And I'm thankful for Cialis. Those are, <laughs> those are what I'm thankful for. So, babe, what about you? What do you got? See, I'm going to be all nostalgic and be, I mean, I'm thankful for our health. 100%. I mean, we could not do, we had a really, really rough year last year and there's so many things that, that we've been able to do this year. And it's, it's, you know, wholeheartedly because we're healthy and, and we're doing well and taking care of ourselves. So um, that I'm thankful for. Hey, there, we there we are. Yeah, so when you get there, this is what you need to see subscribed and be sure you click the little bell thing. Um, and you know what? I'm not going to tell you what to do here. You can personalize what you want to see. You can just go all in and say, you know what? Wow. Give me the full enchilada. You can do it. And um, then that's up to you. Prototype. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not telling people what to do. I'm saying you can do it. Bunch <laughs> of cool stuff up here already. And um it sounds like there's going to be a lot of cool content coming out of this latest trip. So definitely go check them out. <laughs> All right. Mitch. Hi, Jeff. Hello. Oh, I talk now. Um, GearReport.com. Check us out. If you've already checked it out and you've already subscribed and liked and notified, tell a friend. If you have one, if you don't have one, make a friend, then tell them. That would be super cool. Um, there's all kinds of good content. All of the folks here that provide content that do this because they love what they do. They don't do it because they have to do it. They do it because they love doing it. So show them some love. I'm thankful for my sons, and I'm thankful that they aren't in prison. And I give myself most of the credit for that. So I'm thankful for myself as well. Good job. All right. Toby, miningridgearmory.com has links to all of my all of my um, media, social media, as well as links over to gearreport.com as well. 
uh, just like care of me, I want, uh, you know, I could use the love and use the help. I, I have very minimal subscribers and still kind of new to the, to the whole social media world uh, as far as that goes. But um, I'm thankful for family and friends, obviously, particularly in a year where, where my overlord is telling me I'm not allowed to have family and friends within six feet of me. Uh, and, and regardless of the situation in the United States and regardless of what the potential future may be, whether it be up or down, I am thankful that we still do live in the greatest country on the planet. God bless the United States of America. Come on. You know, you want to sing it. Come on. Throw some Lee Greenwood out there for us. Which, well, she, uh, yeah, you don't want me to sing. It. You, you said you wanted people to hang out to the end. Or is that what you're wanting to do to get them to leave? Is that is that what we're... This is the <laughs> end. This I was going to say, end. they're, they're, they're going to do it. 10, 9, <laughs> yeah, 8, yeah. 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there they went. All right. Thanks again. Uh, well, now people have squandered an hour and six minutes of your Wednesday. I, I invite you back to do it again next week. If you, if you got anything at all out of this broadcast, um, why don't you go down there and click the, click a, what is it? Like, is that what it is on, uh, on YouTube? Whatever like, it is. Subscribe and bail. Give us some yep. positive feedback there. Leave a comment. If you didn't like it, um, definitely leave the little thumbs down thing and then put a note to Toby about why you didn't like whatever it was that he did during the show. All right. We appreciate like, that. Like pronounce the word Janik, for example, or talk too much about holsters. You got to do that in the first five minutes of every show. We got to remember that because that'll get the comments going. And next thing you know, the show's going to blow up. We'll have lots of people and that'll be awesome. I'm just going to buy a Janik fanatic shirt and uh, start wearing it every week and, and do that every week. I'm thankful for gear report. Aww. That's awesome. I'm getting all choked up here. Toby's got it. Or TJ's got a softer side. Yeah. 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 He's just been drinking a lot of bourbon. So. Even thankful for it. Well, TJ's He's working and that usually means power tools. So that probably means at least a limit on the consumption. <laughs> Let me tell you about this website. So listen, G23, we appreciate you sharing sharing the love. We don't appreciate TJ rubbing it in that all of us. So everyone in on the panel today is uh, maybe not maybe not everyone's in North Carolina now, but at least all of us have been in North Carolina. And uh, I got to tell you, it's it's grim grim times here. With uh, Ober Gruppen Fura Cooper, um, really, I got, fam I got family locked down up there, Jeff. I know. Oh know my goodness, it. it's insanity, absolute insanity. You know, I have had had times where I've said, you know what, I am not going to take this show political. I'm not going to do any of that. But I got to tell you, all the you people in North Carolina that voted for Roy Cooper for governor, y'all can kiss my ass. Absolutely. Um, the, the dude is crazy and he is screwing the state and uh, he is drunk with power and he takes this reelection to mean that he can be even more jackbooted than he was before, which who knew that could happen? So uh, guess what? Y'all can suck it. All right. And I think that is a good way to... Um, <laughs> I, I think that's a good way to go ahead and wrap the show up. So thanks once again for everyone on the panel. Thank you for the very lively discussion. Uh, we will absolutely look forward to being back next week. Same time. That's going to be eight o'clock on the East coast right here on 